Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and now let us discuss limits concerning the function semicircle. So let me sketch one and then we'll talk about it. So let us say this is the rising sun or semicircle. Uh, let me make x and y coordinates here and that is what we have. Now in this semicircle we are also given an equation. We'll follow that equation to help us find the limits at different points. The equation given to us is y equals to square root of 25 minus x square. Now if I put x as 0 then I get 5 as my answer so at x I have 5. If I put x as 5 plus or minus I get 0. These two points are minus 5 and plus 5. That's the origin and we know this is a semicircle uh, with the domain minus 5 to plus 5 or the radius as 5 units correct. So that is the function given to us. Now what we are going to explore here is limit of this particular function uh, for different points. So let us see what is the limit of our function when x approaches 0. So you can write down these values. We will just write f of x where f of x is 25 minus x squared. Okay. Find limit of the function when x approaches let us say minus 5 from the negative side. Limit of the function, let me write f of x here again. Uh, when f of x approaches minus 5 but from the positive side, means the right side. Uh, limit of the function f of x when x approaches 5 from the negative side, that means left. Uh, limit of the function of f of x when x approaches 5 from the positive side. These are the limits which we need to work out and once we find these limits we will be in a position to also answer what is the limit of the function as x approaches minus 5 that is the limit of this function and what is the limit of the function when x approaches 5 okay so these are the limits which we are really interested in finding so let's begin with the very first one some of you can pause the video answer the question and check with my solution so when we say limit of the function which is square root 25 minus x squared when x approaches 0 so when you are approaching 0 from left side or from the right side you actually approach this point where the value is 5 so this answer for us is equal to 5. Both the sides, it is the same value. You also see that the function is continuous at this point and it should be 5. Okay. Now let's look into the next one, which is limit of the function when x approaches minus 5 from the negative side. That means you're trying to approach from here. Now remember, what is the domain of the function? Well, the domain of this function is that x is greater than or equal to minus 5 and is less than or equals to plus 5. So in this region it is not defined. So it is not defined and therefore this does not exist. So this limit approaching from negative 5 does not exist since the function is not defined here. That is very interesting and important to understand. Now let us answer this question. Limit of the function when you are approaching minus 5 from the right side which is plus 5. Now when you approach from this side think you are here that means your point is somewhere on the graph and you are approaching a value which is 0. So this limit is equals to 0. So that limit exists. Now let's look into that point. When we are trying to find the limit of the function as x approaches 5 from the negative side that means from to this side then you are approaching 0, right? So this answer is 0 for you. And the last one is limit of the function when x approaches positive 5 from the right side. Now again, it is not defined here, so that does not exist. Right? So I hope these limits are absolutely clear. Since they are not part of the domain, they do not exist, right? Now we have to figure out from what we have got, what is the limit of the function when x approaches 5, you have to see the limits from both the sides. And you see from both the sides it is different. From left, in this case it is 0. From right it is not defined. So for this one, it does not exist. It has to be same, right? It is not same. 
exactly the similar thing happens here at minus 5 the function is not defined from the left side and so limit of the function does not exist when you're approaching from the left side but it is zero when you're approaching from the right side so so that particular case yields that this limit does not exist so at minus 5 both limits are not the same so it does not exist however limit of the function approaches all other points within plus and minus 5 and it is equal to the value of the function right since it is continuous within this region so what you will find here is that we can summarize here that the limit as x approaches a for square root of 25 minus x square is equals to f of a if a is greater than minus 5 and is less than 5 correct so in general you can say that that the limit exists in between minus 5 and plus 5 values and it is equal to the value of the function since the function is continuous all throughout now these are the boundary conditions and that is why at the boundaries limit does not exist I hope that helps to get together all learnings which we have done in this particular chapter this is a very important aspect go through this video once again subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best